If you have found this video, Psychology Says Today, you're in for an exciting journey into the world of relationships and social interactions. Today, we're going to talk about a fascinating topic that many people are curious about but may not fully understand yet, flirting. Yes, that's right, flirting is not just for grown-ups. Kids and teenagers often find themselves in situations where they want to get to know someone better, and that's where a little bit of flirting can come in handy. Flirting is a way to show someone you're interested in them, but it's not always easy to do. If you're too shy or too forward, you might find yourself in an awkward situation. But don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll explore what flirting is, why people do it, and some subtle flirting tips to help you avoid rejection. Flirting is a way of communicating with someone you're attracted to or interested in romantically. It's like playing a fun, friendly game where you use words, body language, and even a little bit of teasing to show that you're interested in getting to know them better. But remember, flirting doesn't always have to lead to a romantic relationship. It can also be a way to make new friends and connect with people on a deeper level. So, whether you have a crush on someone or just want to build stronger connections with your friends, Flirting can be a valuable skill to learn. Flirting serves several purposes, and understanding them can help you navigate social situations better. Here are some common reasons why people flirt. To show interest, one of the primary reasons people flirt is to let someone know they're interested in them romantically. It's a way of saying, hey, I like you. To build confidence, flirting can boost your confidence and make you feel more comfortable around the person you're interested in. To have fun, flirting can be a playful and enjoyable way to interact with others. It's like a game where everyone involved is having a good time. To test the waters, sometimes people flirt to see if the other person is interested in them too. It's a way of checking if there's a potential connection. To create a connection, flirting can help build a connection between two people, even if it doesn't lead to a romantic relationship. It's a way of saying, I want to get to know you better. Now that we've talked about why people flirt, let's dive into some tips to help you become a skilled flirt while keeping things subtle and respectful. 10 Subtle Flirting Tips to Help You Avoid Rejection 
Smile, a warm and friendly smile, can work wonders when you're trying to connect with someone. It shows that you're approachable and happy to be around them. Eye contact. Making eye contact is a powerful way to communicate your interest. When you talk to someone, look into their eyes attentively, but don't stare too intensely. That might make them uncomfortable. Compliment sincerely. Give compliments that are genuine and specific. Instead of saying, you're nice, say something like, I love how creative you are with your drawings. Specific compliments show that you've been paying attention. Listen actively. When the person you're talking to is speaking, listen carefully and respond to what they're saying. It shows that you value their thoughts and opinions. Use light touch. A gentle touch on the arm or shoulder can create a connection, but be very careful with this one. Make sure it's appropriate for the situation and that the other person is comfortable with it. Playful teasing, light teasing, can be a fun way to flirt. Just make sure your jokes are lighthearted and not hurtful. If the other person seems uncomfortable, it's essential to stop. Ask open-ended questions. Instead of asking yes or no questions, ask open-ended ones that encourage conversation. For example, instead of asking, did you have a good weekend? You could ask, what did you do over the weekend? Find common interests, discover shared hobbies or interests and talk about them. It's a great way to bond and create a connection. Give space. While it's essential to show interest, it's also important to respect the other person's personal space and boundaries. They seem disinterested or uncomfortable. Take a step back. Be yourself. Above all, be authentic. Pretending to be someone you're not won't lead to a genuine connection. Let your true personality shine through. Remember, the key to successful flirting is to keep it subtle, respectful, and fun. It's important to pay attention to how the other person responds. If they seem interested and engage with you, that's a good sign. But if they appear uncomfortable or uninterested, it's crucial to respect their feelings and back off. Flirting is about building connections. Flirting is not about manipulating or tricking someone into liking you. 
It's a way to build connections and show your interest in a respectful and playful manner. So, whether you're interested in making new friends or exploring the exciting world of crushes, these flirting tips can help you navigate social situations with confidence. Remember that not everyone you flirt with will reciprocate your feelings, and that's okay. Rejection is a part of life, and it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. It's just a sign that the other person may not be the right fit, and that's perfectly normal. So, go out there and have fun practicing your flirting skills. Whether it's making new friends or potentially finding that special someone, the world of human connections is vast and full of exciting possibilities. And always remember to be kind, respectful, and true to yourself in all your interactions. Happy flirting!